from Drakenzing, Dungeon Siege 3, Episode 10, Into the Fire and Doubt of the Way, Part 2. Alright, welcome back. So, I'm inside. Looks like some type of church or something. Oh, it's a town hall. Rescue Lazar. So I just defeated Rajani. Gotta go rescue that Lazar, Lazar guy. Pick up all these items. Nothing in this prison cell. I think it's a prison cell. A gigantically huge prisons prison cell. That must be him right there. Let me see what's over here first. Thank you. Oh man, you I saw the commotion upstairs. That woman! She's not dead. You're the boyar. You're Lazar Basili? The boyar of the town? The boyar. <laughs> boyar is an old and stuffy title. Lazar is fine, especially among friends. Let's go. We should get back upstairs. Quite right. Before Rajani wakes. What do you mean before he wakes? She wakes. How do you know she's not dead? Suspicious old man. That sounds very suspicious right there. And look at that. She's awake. The town is ours. They're fleeing into the woods in total disarray. Where the hell did you come from? What about Rajani? You saw how she fights. She calls fire at will, and her eyes, they're like mine. Who are you, girl? You look like someone I knew. You speak with her voice. But that woman is dead and gone. Go asking the questions here. Then tell us who this woman was. Anjali has a right to know. Was she kin to you? A sister, perhaps? You share her likeness, but you could be a trick. Some kind of legion spell. Or perhaps you're a false prophet, meant to lead me astray. If you fight for the legion, you're an enemy. Nothing more. You weren't acting alone. Who sent you to attack us? You know her name. She defeated the Legion once, and she'll defeat you again. Jane Cassinda, the old enemy. Thirty years on, and she's still hunting the Legion. And why should she not? You're traitors, kingslayers, murderers. How can we be a threat to you? We don't even know who you are. She's an Archon! I know it sounds mad, but look at her. Just like the stories, only she's real. What do these stories say about Archons? They were divine messengers, heralds of the old creator gods. You see their pictures in books. Statues of them are supposed to bring luck. We have to decide what to do with her. Suggestions? She attacked a defenseless town, murdered your friends at the estate. Why are we discussing this? Kill her and let justice be done. Wait. Listen to her words. She's misguided, confused. She fears us. Killing her wouldn't be justice. She's yielded. What if we set her free? Show Jane Cassinda that the Legion still has honor. Hmm. Setting her free might be a little stupid. She just attacked us, tried to kill us. Let her carry a warning, maybe? She has to die. She might come back and try to kill us again. I don't know. Let's see. I think she has to... That Jane Cassander person has to get sent a message. 
Think of the people she killed. They deserve justice. Blood for blood. My sisters will avenge me, Legionnaire. You'll burn before you die, and your legion will fall. Silence, Rajani. You have spoken enough. Lazar <laughs> Vasili. Justice indeed, for your friends and for mine. But now we'll never know who she was. Look, Rajani's spear. This could prove useful in the right hands. Come, we should return to the chapter house and decide our next move. Unless you still have business here. Wait, I want to look around first. Take whatever time you need. I'll wait by the door. Influence gained. Enjoy. Let's see if we got any new items. Got a new spear, orange item, nice. Minus 41 doom though, so I don't know about that. Plus one attack, minus 41 doom, plus 65 lightning though. I guess. Nothing else around here. Are you ready to leave? I'm ready. Let's head back to the chapter house. Against the might of the 10th Legion, even the Archon Rajani could not stand. Jane Cassinder's lieutenant was vanquished. Her mercenaries hold on the Rukonval broken. The Legion was known for its mercy in the past, but no more. For her crimes, Rajani was branded enemy of the Legion, and her life was ended by your hand. In the aftermath, the people of Ravensrill did as they always have. They rebuilt. Grief was set aside, for much work remained to be done. Much yet remained for the Legion to do as well. Rukanval was free, but our old enemy still plotted our demise. The Rukenval Chapter House would not be our sanctuary, but a staging ground for what was to come. Martin tells me that Jane Cassinder was behind this. She acted fast. That means she's afraid. At least Rajani is dead. She won't be reporting our strength to Jane. Exactly. We can't have any spies around here. Who exactly is this Jane Cassinder, anyways? Why is Jane Cassinder so determined to kill us? The woman's a mystery. Always has been. As far as we know, she was raised by the Azanite Church. An orphan, maybe. Or a rich man's bastard daughter. Must have been 18, 19 years old when the King died. She paraded through the streets of Bisselberg, claimed he'd been murdered by the Legion. Was there any truth in what she said? No. My father would never have died for the Legion if he believed Jane's lies. Some Legionnaires did believe. Owamund of St. Ellis, Garen Marcel, prominent men. They renounced the Legion, stood by while the rest of us were hunted and killed. Why did anyone listen to Jane? She was young, beautiful, full of passion. Spoke like she truly loved the King, but she couldn't have known him. Half the country was in love with her. A living saint, they called her. Still do, out east with the church's strong. And people were jealous. We'd grown too rich and too fat. That was the Legion's sin, if you ask me. So Jane turned the people against us. What then? Jane had the church behind her. She raised mobs in the cities. Whistleburg first, and the towns of the east. Then Stonebridge, Glacier, everywhere else. In Stonebridge, the Legionnaires refused to fight wouldn't raise their hands against the people, just stood there and died. Mont Baron made his last stand here, in Rukenval. The people here stayed loyal, so Jane had to march an army north. You know how it ended. How did you survive? Good question. And you were the only survivor. How did you escape? I don't die easy. And I don't believe in noble last stands. 
far as I'm concerned, the war's still on. Even if I'm the last soldier in the field. Until I put a knife in Jane Cassinder's eye. I'm with you. Jane will answer for every legionnaire who died at her hand. If Rajani was anything like her mistress, then force may be all that Jane Cassinder will ever understand. You may all think me a fool, but I'll never agree that this has to end in blood. We're the Legion. We can find a better way. Why don't you go marry her then? Propose a marriage. We need more Legionnaires. Our numbers are too few. Can we find more men and women of Legion blood? Might be a few left. Not enough to build an army. But if we spread the word that the Legion has returned, we can rally Jane's enemies against her. We should start by reclaiming the Grand Chapter House, the old Legion headquarters in Stonebridge. Have you heard any news from Stonebridge? If I had to guess, more smokestacks, more spinning machines, more metal men clanking through the streets. So the Stonebridge Chapter House is different than the others? It's bigger, grander. They built it during our Golden Age, after the heroes destroyed the Sec. We claim that Chapter House, hang our banners out front, People will hear that the legions returned. That's the chapter house I need to get in order to unlock the Treasures of the Sun DLC. So I guess I'm off to Stonebridge next. Are you sure the chapter house wasn't destroyed? By the people of Stonebridge? No, they never would. It's their mark of shame. Reminds them how they betrayed the legion, and they don't dare forget. How do we get to Stonebridge then? Stonebridge lies to the south and west, on the far side of the swamp. The Tsar's people have repaired the bridge, so the road should be open again. Martin and I will stay here for now. Help the locals rebuild. We owe them. They've endured a great deal for our sake. We have a causeway gate here. Surely there must be another in Stonebridge. There is, but it's shut. Mon Baron ordered most of them closed to stop Jane Cassinder from using them against us. A causeway gate can only be opened from the outside, and only by a privileged few. All right, I'll head south for Stonebridge. Jane Cassinder controls most of the land between here and Stonebridge. Her soldiers wear the raiment of the Azrenite Church. Avoid them if you can. Once you're inside the chapter house, look for the causeway gate. Open it, and you can bring the rest of us through. You're the vanguard of the Legion. All our hopes go with you. Let's see what quest is next. On the road, enter the Eastern Swamp. Off to Stonebridge, I hear? Some random guy Before you up. depart, I have something I would discuss with you, if you're willing. The Lasconzi occupation depleted the town's stores. If we cannot replenish them soon, Raven's Reel may not survive the winter. I know the Legion has done a great deal for us already, but I fear I must ask your help again. Larger matters require my attention, Boyar. Speak plainly. The Hero's Crypt is where the heroes of the Sect Resurgence were interred. It was considered a holy site, and pilgrims flocked to it. After the crypt was sealed, the pilgrims stopped coming. I believe that if we open it again, we can bring prosperity back to Raven's Rill. Why would a holy site be sealed in the first place? I'm not entirely sure. It happened just before the fall of the Legion. Why do you need the Legion's help? The doors of the monument are sealed by Legion magic. They are impervious to any form of counter magic or physical destruction. They can only be opened by the signet rings of the Legion families who commissioned its construction. The Montbarons and the Gundricks. I understand you found both signet rings already. The crypt should open for you now. How in the world did you know? I never even told you. That's pretty weird. A psychic. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Look for the two large statues outside the monument. I'll fetch Grigori. We'll need a scribe to document this historic event. You got spies everywhere, don't you? Alright, I guess I could do that. If it's not too far away. Alright, so I'm getting close to the quest location right here. The current quest I'm on is called Open the Crypt, Heroes of Old. There's a guy standing ah, here. Oh, forgive me. You startled me a bit. 
I'm afraid I was wrapped up in my studies of this magnificent edifice. Who are you? Tell me about yourself. What brings you out here? I'm a scholar with the Stonebridge Society of Antiquaries. My particular specialization is early Goblin Renaissance architecture. This structure is a truly remarkable example. Note the intricate cornice work and the marvelously subtle geometries of the roof. Can you tell me anything about this building? Why, this is the hero script. Inside lie the champions who defeated the Sec 150 years ago. I've been studying its history for years. Sadly, I've never been able to do more than observe the exterior. Why can't you get inside? Ever since Jane Cassinda destroyed the Legion, the tomb has been sealed tight. I think it could still be open, but I have no idea how. Perhaps the old Legion knew, some of them anyway. Tell me about the crypt's history. The tomb was originally constructed for the First Lady Montbaron, remembered in popular folklore as the Farmer. Yes, yes, it seems my family has been saving the world for many generations. You are welcome. A Montbaron, are you? Now that you mention it, I see the resemblance. You have the farmer's graceful bone structure. Uh, not that I mean to, uh, um, you're a lovely young woman, but I'm not trying to make, uh, advances. Just, it's just a scholarly observation. <laughs> anyway, as more of the heroes who defeated the sect passed on, they were interred here as well. The crypt became a site of pilgrimage for many. Visitors have reported all sorts of miracles. Good fortune, sickness is healed, that sort of thing. But no one's been inside for 30 years. I found a way into the crypt. I'm going to open the doors. You did? You have? That, that's unbelievable! How did you do it? Where did you find it? Uh, oh, never mind. That's not important right now. Could I... Could I go in with you? I've studied the exterior for so long, I'd like to get a look at some of the artifacts inside. Could I go in with you? Hmm. I don't think so. Who in the world are you anyways? You just popped up from out of nowhere. For all I know, you're just a grave robber. You can stay outside. I see. Well, I suppose that's fair, though. I, I do hope you'll let me know if you change your mind. going in there anyway, perhaps you'd be willing to retrieve some relics and bring them to me for study? If you pay me for it. I'll see what I can find. What are you looking for? Good. Yes, good. Much safer for all of us. <laughs> I'd likely get you killed tagging along, and this way you won't get me killed either. I'm looking for three relics in particular. The Skull of Norik, the Staff of Merrick, and the Sword of Bolingar. If you find any of them, I will of course reward you handsomely. Nice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must bring the good news to Lazar. 